How did I get here? Where am I anyway? Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. You know very well this is our house. You mean your house? I mean the house we're going to live in when we're married. Married? Don't shout, Henry! You'll wake the baby. You've got a baby? Don't be horrid, Henry. Yeah, Henry. It's Linda's. I'm looking after it while she tries on her bridesmaid's dress. I don't feel well. Don't be pathetic, Henry. You haven't forgotten your cooking, have you? Tell me this isn't happening. I've written a list of your jobs. Susan and I will have our coffee in the garden. Well, hurry up now. Yeah, Henry, hurry up. Oh, take baby to park, do the shopping, cook dinner, pull out wedding suit. I can't believe this is happening. Henry! Coffee! I'm sure. Zut alors! Only two drops. The sauce poche is too hot and spicy for the English tummy. Perhaps Monsieur is uh, lust? No, 
Oh no, uh, my, my cousin forgot to ask for some la sauce pot on his food. I was going to tell the cook. You have told me, I will inform the chef. Good, my cousin really likes spicy food. At least five drops. Yes! Close your mouth, Bodica. I swear I can see right down your gullet. Mother, excuse me, young man. I hope my daughter is teaching you properly. Mother! Oh, yes, Mom, she does. Goodbye. Oh, that lovely boy, he's so sweet. But, Mother, he's the most horrid boy in my class. And whose fault is that? Finally, our dinner is here. Oh, look, squid. I don't like squid. And I don't like tomatoes. And I don't like beetroots. Oh, Aunt Ruby, you ordered their favourites. Oh, it's so nice to be appreciated. I'm sure you will all enjoy every mouthful. And for Monsieur, the speciality of the house, tribe. I wouldn't eat that, not even for two pound. <laughs> Once you've eaten a snail, you can eat anything. is real food. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> How's your extra hot sauce, Steve? Monica, <laughs> 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 oh, sit down this instant. safe keeping all that money in a Daffy Daisy piggy bank? Why? Oh, nothing. Just as long as the piggy bank robbers don't come. There's no such thing. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ah, uh, where'd you get these? They're Andrew's stick insects. I'm looking after them for the weekend. Why? Because that's what best friends do. And he donated 50 pence to my chosen charity. You mean he's paying you to look after his smelly old pets? Well, yes, sort of. You freaker! That's it! Henry's Pet Sitting Service! I'll make millions! Billions! Ralph, it's Henry. Listen, I want you to spread the word. Josh, hello. Oh, hi. Is Henry in? Henry? Why is everyone calling for Henry today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, he's upstairs, is he? Your scarf's moving. I'm not wearing a scarf. <laughs> oh. Mrs. Battleaxe. Hello, uh, Brut. Right, thanks. I'll take care of it. Bye. Not so fast. What's in that box, Henry? Nothing. Just uh, some homework Miss Battleaxe wanted me to do. Hey, what's going on? Rabbits are extra. What's going on, Henry? Nothing. Uh, just off to play football. Football, eh? We'll see about that. Henry, let me in. Just a minute! What? Look at the state of this room. What's wrong with it? It's a pigsty. When did you last make your bed? Last year. And how many times have I told you to put your toys away? Tidy your room today or no more pocket money. Henry, are you listening to me? Um, yeah. T tidy my room. 
Good. Well, don't just stand there. Get on with it. OK, OK, I am. It's so easy being me. I'm No way, Henry. I'm not going to let you score just so that you can be player of the match. Why not? You're Moody Margaret's goalkeeper. It'll be easy. Yeah, but how can I be player of the match if I let you score? Don't be stupid. We all know who the best player is going to be. Have you decided who you're going to take with you, Margaret? Nope. I'll decide later. See? We haven't got a chance. But if I let you score, it'll be cheating. Come along, children. Take your positions. Just remember rule number seven of the Purple Hand Gang. Members must always obey the Lord High Excellent Majesty. That's me. But... And if I do win, I'll obviously return the favour. You mean you'll take me? You see, Ralph, it's not so hard, is it? Right, children. Everyone ready? Graceful. Football is supposed to be a team sport, not a pack of hooligans with no respect for the rules. Oh, let's try again, shall we? Oh, Henry! <laughs> <sighs> Why didn't you pass the ball to me? Uh, have you decided who you're taking to the game yet? All right, I'll take you! Team, one nil. Ha! We'll see about that. Corinda, over here. Uh... To my Henry. No way. Kai, we're on the same side. Team. What are you doing? It was a bird, a, a big one. It did a wash name right in my eye. I can't see any bird. Bird? Why didn't you try to save it? Uh, I don't know. Two one to Margaret's team. One minute to go. It's so easy being me. I'm Harlan Henry. We will fight them in the treetops. We will fight them in the mountains. And we will fight them in the fairy rings of old. And we will never, never. Never give up! Bravo! Bravo! Well done, Andrew! Oh! I got the pot! Right. <laughs> yes, go team, Andrew! <laughs> I got the pot too! <laughs> I got the fairy princess! You lucky escape. Um, what did you say, Henry? Uh, I said lucky you. Oh, <gasps> thank you, Henry. And remember, children, to make your voices loud and clear. Now remember, if you forget any of your lines, I'll whisper them to you. Good luck. <laughs> What 
a cold, dark day this is for the kingdom of the fairies. But we must face these times together! It's great! We dance around the fairy ring, the fairy ring, the fairy ring. We dance around the fairy ring. La 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 la. la. That's not me up there. The tides of fate have turned against us. Oh, where shall we fly to, sire? Up to the carrot tops. <gasps> the tree tops. I mean, the raindrops. <gasps> tree tops. Mop tops. I think you mean tree tops. Oh, I, I, I can't do this anymore. Henry! Henry, come here! You know the lines. You have to take over. What? The show must go on. But... Now go! <laughs> <coughs> we must fly to the treetops! <laughs> Go on, kiss her. No! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Where has the worm put him? I'll do all my homework after I've cleaned my cello, Mum. <gasps> Look at all this mess! Mum! You did it! You stole Mr Kill! You've been waiting to get back at me. For what? Everything! prize in the sandcastle competition if you hadn't started blubbering. Mum! And that's not all. What a perfect day, not a cloud in the sky. The birds tweeting softly as their wings flutter. Mom! Not even a thank you for that flying lesson. Oh, and what about your birthday? Eek, eek. to you, you snivelling toad. So, where is Mr Kill? Mom! Silence, worm. Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'll have to use force. No! <laughs> no! Did anything but that! What have you done with Mr Kill? I haven't touched him on it! Choice. Mr. Kill? Please, I don't know. Last chance. <gasps> what have you done? Tell them, Peter. Confess. Not Peter, you, Henry. Me? He's the thief. He took Mr. Kill. No, he didn't. I know he didn't. Well, who did then? I did. Of course. I should have known. You cleaned my room, didn't you? That's when you took him. And I know why you took him too. Because you want to blackmail me into being good like Peter. That's it. I have had enough. Hey, this is my investigation. Let me go. Let me go. There's Mr Kill. No one stole him. I washed him because he was smelly. Oh. How could you accuse me of stealing your teddy bear, Henry? And how could you accuse your little brother too? And your father. And me. 
you, young man, are going to stay in your room for the rest of the day. What? And you can pay for poor Peter's cello strings with your pocket money. Now go straight to bed. What about Mr Kill? He's staying right there. It's so easy being me. I'm And at the end of this lesson, I will be collecting your posters. The winning poster will be announced at the fancy dress party tomorrow night. Oh, oh, uh, uh, what's the prize, miss? No prizes. No prizes? Some things we do for honour, Henry. The honour of attending our school. Ha! This school's more like a prison. Right, class. Please roll up your posters. Margaret and Susan will collect them. They're all finished. <laughs> That's rude. Is it? Oh, thank you, Henry. Miss Battleaxe is going to love this. Give me that back. <laughs> as if. Yeah, as if. Thank you both. Please go with Miss Lovely to Miss Oddboard's office. Yes, Miss! Phew, that was close. Miss Battleaxe would have gone mad. Yeah, now Miss Oddbot can go mad instead. Uh-oh. You're right. What are you going as, Al? Oh, a ballerina? Well. What do you think Miss Oddbot will do? Who knows? We don't even know where the posters are. We've got a bit of time to find out. Time to find out what? Where the posters are. Ralph! Oh, sorry. <laughs> You'll be sorry, Henry. Yes, yeah, sorry, Henry. Go away, Margaret. We don't need you. Um, I think you do. What makes you think that? Because I know where the posters are and I have a plan. She might, you know. OK, Margaret. What's the deal? Yeah, the deal. Oh, be quiet, Susan. This is woman's work. Now, listen. The posters will be taken out of the safe tomorrow night at the fancy dress party so that they can choose a winner. That's when we'll strike. And we're going to need some help. Does this party last? Can't get Henry! <gasps> oh! You're late! Peter had to change costume five times! Everyone's in position! Such a nice turnout, don't you think? Bert's on alert! And Ralph is ready! 